Hey guys, it's Mel. Just wanted to show a belated birthday card I made for, I'm making for a special somebody. Um, can't say who, uh, in case they happen to see this before it gets to them. But, um, I am loving this little piggy set from MFT. So, yes, this card is a tad bit gaudy, but I love gaudy, so hopefully the recipient will too. Um, I Now that I look at it, I'm like, oh, you can't even see because I used my Columbus Circle, I think it's called, from um, Mama Elephant dye, and you can't even see like the stitch lines because of this chunky, gaudy glitter paper I got from Hobby Lobby. But I had to use it because I loved it, <clears throat> and I love pink and purple. But now in hindsight, I'm looking back, and I wish that I did the background blue like a sky. I didn't realize until I was building this card that it was going to become more of like a scene and I also want to add I'll show you where you know, some grass on the inside but I'm probably gonna do that and then send it right away because this needs to get out so uh, I did, used my little glitter paper and I just made it like a 4x4 four four card some close to that I used some purple twine I popped up the little ham it up it's your birthday and just cut it out and then inked around the edges to make it like blend better with the purple then, so at first I was just going to use this piggy, but I love this fence, so I had to figure out a way to use the fence. So I'm going to do a different closure, but I made myself like a little hinge, so that way you can open the, open the fence. So I want to put some type of like um, temporary, like little tack thing in the corner. I know you could use magnets, and I could hide a magnet behind the back, but I think that would make it like too thick or weird to mail, so... Um, I'm trying to think of another way just to temporarily keep this closed, but enough that they know to open it. I do have little Velcro. I could cut like the tiniest little square, but I don't know if by the time you pull it off, you'd break the fence off. <laughs> so uh, I want to show you what it does. So you just open it up and here's where I want to put grass on the center because I use little rock from the mermaid set and I don't really love that so much. And these hearts are just to kind of hide, but I just folded a piece of paper and made the little hinge from the gate to open. And then I stamped a little message with another mama elephant stamp that just says happy birthday. And these are my stamping up heart punches but I want to put some grass and probably cover probably this entire rock part you know where it's standing because I had to turn the piggy that way so that when she's hanging out of the fence it looked like she's you know holding the cupcake so then it looked like she was just floating this is before I put the rock so I put the rock there to kind of ground her but I think I'm just going to put layers of grass and I think that'll be fun um and then it'll just hide under there but I just thought that was really cute that I embossed the back with swirls I wanted to do <clears throat> I wanted to do the number embossing folder because embossing folders, I plan on doing some challenges in the future um, to hopefully you guys will enter into them where I like think of a lot of things. I thought, gosh, I haven't used this in a while or this technique and I kind of want to reinvent them. And one of them is that I always sit and look at my embossing folders and I always forget to use them. So I did whip them out for this and, I, and while I do like it, I used a swirl one. I wanted to use this embossing folder that I had. It was by Cuddlebug or Pervacraft. An older one but it had a bunch of numbers because this is a birthday gift I mean a birthday card but the way I did the card a top opening card I couldn't put the embossing folder on it and then the numbers be facing the right way so that's why I had to use the swirl so um, but again I want to do some challenges in the future and like I'll just give rules and I'll say you must use at least one embossing folder and this and that and then there'll be some small little prize we can win at the end but that's in the future uh, when I can find some time. But I want to do them. So, <clears throat> But anyway, so I used a little piggy. I put a little bow in her hair. And again, these are all cut out with my brother's skin and cut. And I love them. So even this fence too. So, um, so that was the little card. And I just stamped some stuff on the inside. And um, that was just the center from the other side. But um, I want to write a little message in there and get this out ASAP. So it goes to the person who deserves it. So um, thank you guys for watching. Just wanted to do a little card share. Bye.